Jennings' place. Maybe we can get some ammunition there. It's our only chance. He's asleep now. Give me all the ammunition you got. What for? Red Wolf and his Indians are after us. Think we stole some of their furs. But they're our friends. Never mind about that. Get me the ammunition. Hey, lady, you stay here. That's all I've got, mister. Here, boys. Load up. You better get back in your cabin. i able to get hit. There's going to be some shooting here when Red Wolf and these Indians see us. The baby. It's under the tree. We got caught in the crossfire. Red Wolf, you're my friend. You know I am. Then take care of my baby. I will, Jennings. Just like he my own. I want to talk to Agent Clark. I see it this minute. Howdy, Chief. How, Agent? What's the good word, Red Wolf? He, Jennings boy, Jackie. I adopt him in tribe five years ago. I teach everything. Now he big to learn white man's way. Yes? I want you send him school. Teach white man's way. Me pay. Well, I'd be glad to do that, Chief. We need a son in our family. Good morning. Here's your mail. Your little daughter was helping me to deliver it. Thanks. No, Daddy, I had a nice ride. Well, well goodbye. Mary, this is little Jackie. He's going to live with us. I like little school. You see no talk. You like me anyway. Chief, Red Wolf, what have you taught him? Indian language, little white man talk. He shoots straight. He know everything good Indian should know. Also, I teach him never tell a lie. Even though he suffer death, he not tell a lie. Jackie, are you a good rider? Uh-huh. You got a little horse, big horse, any horse. Can you ride this horse? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You ride him.
Come on, Romeo. A little more speed. Come on now, please. Say, how do you expect to get anything to eat today if we don't get down to the village and sell something, eh? And Juliet, I suppose you're going to have a piece too, eh? A fine pair of jets, so I must... Hello, Jim. Which way are you heading? Down to the Indian village. I just got to sell something today. Romeo and Juliet ate my last plug of chewing tobacco. <laughs> Say, uh, did you get those new binoculars for me? Yes, sir. The latest importation from Paris cost me ten dollars, but I'll let you have them for seven dollars cash as a favor. I only got one more pair left, too. Try them. I'll take them. Here. Bring the change to the agency when you come back. All right. Much obliged. Oh, we ain't done nothing. Tell it to the law. The less you say, the better. How do you like my new rig? For the dance tonight? No, but, well, for whatever you want to make it. Maybe you can park in my lot any time. Oh, Mr. Butch Weldon, this is so sudden. <laughs> Come here. Oh. 
Oh, no, you don't come here. <laughs> They're a beautiful girl. Just in time. I want you to meet Peggy Packard, the new queen of the crystal. Oh, cut the comedy. I got some tough news. What's the trouble? Well, Jack Jennings got a line on us. How come? Well, me and Dick and George are just about to grab ourselves a couple of mules with some swell pelts on them when he busted in on us. But he didn't get you. No, he didn't get me. But he did get Dick and George, put the cuffs on them, and took them down to the agent. Think Dick and George will spill anything? No, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Yeah, we ought to do something about that cash before Jack Jennings finds out. Yeah, or Dick and George talk. I'll phone Joe Henley and tell him to bring the furs over to the old cabin of Pine Gulch. Then you'll pick them up and bring them here. Yeah, all right, I will. Say, you, I want you to lay off of that guy. Says which? Says me. And who are you to tell me what to do? Say, I'm the guy that'll bust you right in the jaw if you don't do as I say. That's who I am. Why, you cheap tin horn for a nickel, I tell your boss and have him do some smacking on your own mug. Boss? What do you mean, boss? Butch Weldon? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Say, any time that guy is looking for trouble, I am the guy that'll give it to him. Give him nothing. He'll grind in the ground like a slug if you'll ever say boo. Oh, is that so? Say, that guy wouldn't be any place if it wasn't for me. Why, well, I'm the fellow that does all his dirty work. And you're getting paid for it. Yes, but that doesn't give him any reason to run around with my woman. Meaning who? Now, whom do you suppose? Well, it takes two for that place. Yeah? <laughs> and it takes two for this place. <laughs> Leave him go, Butch. He's got enough. Right. Leave him alone. He ain't worth getting sore about. You get up to the cabin and get them furs. Got a mind to do a little spying on that guy. Oh, forget it, Butch. He's just jealous about you and me. I caught these men in a holdup. We'll bring him inside. We'll question them. Well, what do you want? Oh, Al, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Well, what's the idea of monkeying around with that big baboon? I I just wanted to see if you'd get jealous. And you've got your wish, and what of it? Yeah, and I got a sock on the jaw, too. And you deserved it, didn't you? I did, Al. And I guess that's what made me realize how much I love you. All right, then. But remember, no more monkey business, understand? No, dear. Never again. Well, I'm through with that fellow Butch after today. I'll get them furs, but that's all. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, and if he lets out one peep, I'll tip off Jack Jennings, and then you'll see how smart Mr. Butch Weldon is. But you wouldn't do that. No? Well, maybe I would anyhow. Say, I've got enough on that guy to send him up for 20 years. Better leave him alone, Al. He ain't worth getting sore about. Well, perhaps you're right. But just the same, I'd like to get back at that big gorilla. Well, bye-bye, sweetie. See you later. You'll be back in time for the big dance tonight, won't you? Oh, you bet I will. And you'll be the belle of the ball.
I wish we had some way to make those fellows talk. Yes. If we could find out who's in back of them, we could soon stop the whole gang. Have you any suspicions at all? I think the third fellow that got away was Al Pierce. And that would mean Butch Weldon. That's treading on thin ice, Jack. Butch is the big politician in these parts. And any proof against him has got to be mighty strong to hold. Well, uh, Red Wolf says the same thing. He's known Butch Weldon to be a crook ever since he was 18. Well, all we can do is to keep after them, whoever they are, until we get them dead to rights. Wait a minute, Jack. Here comes Bindle with the mail. Letter for you, Clark. This is from Mary. Dear Dad, I'll be with you tonight for the big dance. I'm bringing a girlfriend with me. We are driving all the way. Your loving daughter, Mary. Well, that's more than interesting. Uh, yeah, well, here's a postscript. Tell Jack I love him, provided he'll dance every dance with me. Not alone interesting. Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> well, you've got your orders, son. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Hello, honey. Uh, Beth, this is Jack. Jack, this is Beth. Pleased to meet you. Same here. Aren't you going into town with us? Sorry, I can't. Have to patrol the line till 7. Well, I hope you won't be late for the dance. You bet I won't. All right. I'll see you tonight. Stop it. Hold him up straight. Who's Pelt? Uh, I don't know. I, I just found him. I suppose you didn't see the company tag, huh? Who are you working for? Of course you don't have to tell me, but it'll come easy for you if you did. This will mean a ten-year stretch, Al. But it'll be less if you come clean. Well... Hold your hands out.
Well, honey, you having a good time? I wonder what's keeping Jack. I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder myself. Do you think anything happened to him? Oh, no, I don't think so. He's probably just making the rounds, visiting his girls. Let me see now. There's, uh, Mamie, and there's Jessie, and there's Lizzie. Oh, Dad, I think you're horrid. My Jack wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> well, here's to the bell of the wall. You haven't seen Al around, have you? No. What do you care? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Well, don't think. It's bad for your complexion. Come on, drink up. Got a fine pair of binoculars I'd like to send you. Latest importation from Paris, too. No, Jim, I have a good pair. Well, uh, it's Jack's outside with a dead man on his saddle. Who is it? I don't know, sir. him with a bunch of company pelts. We fought and Wait. I... Come inside and tell me about it. Hey, take care of these horses. And then what? That's all I know. When I came to, Al was dead. Let me see your gun. Clear case of self-defense. He pulled his gun and you had to plug him. No, I took his gun away from him and threw it in the brush. Have you seen anything of Jack? Yes, miss. He's upstairs with your dad. Jack's had some kind of trouble with Al. He brought him back and he's dead. How about the evidence, the pelts? Have you got them? As I said before, when I came to, Al was dead, and the pelts were gone. Hello, Mary. I guess I'm putting a crimp in the party. I'm sorry. Jack, what happened? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Did you... 
Didn't you kill him? Maybe I did. If I knew, I'd say so. But the trouble of it is, I don't know. Jack Jennings just bumped off Al. What? It looks like it. His remains are draped over Jack's saddle outside. I don't believe it. Seeing is believing, ain't it? Raise up, Jack. Everything will come out all right. You shot this man in self-defense. Can't say I did. I can't say I didn't. I wish I knew. Well, I'm sorry, Jack, but in that case, I'm afraid I'll have to put you under arrest. just a few minutes. I'm having Elmer and Frank take him to the county seat. Well, why to the county seat? I hate to say it, but Butch and his gang have been threatening. You mean... Yes, I mean that. The quicker we get Jack out of here, the better. Now, you two make it snappy. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Why don't you tell them you killed a man in self-defense? I would, but I don't know. But, Jack, if you don't know, it's an even chance that you're right. And it would save so much trouble. Now, listen, Mary. When I was knee-high to a grasshopper, old Red Wolf taught me never to tell a lie. And I think it was good medicine. Well, still, Jack, you wouldn't be telling a lie. I would. I have to be sure that I killed him. Don't you see? Don't worry, Mary. It'll come out all right. The truth always does. Time's up, you two. I hear the men coming. The horses are in the back. I don't want you to be seen out front. Take this in case you have trouble. Thanks. Oh, Dad. get here. Then we'll go get Mr. Jack ourselves.
You ride back to town and tell the agent. I'll start around here and see what I can find. boys. Let's go get it. What do you want? We want your prisoner. Come on, quit stalling. We want him and we're going to take him. Yourself. Go inside. Only he ain't here anymore. All right, boys, you wait here. Jack Jennings has been shot. Oh! Where? When? just the way it happened. Well, somebody saved us in the county a lot of trouble. Go along. Come on, boys. You come back, my son. You in trouble? Yes, father. I'm in much trouble. Then you come right place. Me glad you no know, forget, even if trouble bring you here. with my catching Al Pierce, stealing a bunch of fur pelts from the company. Mm. Yes. And the one who took a shot at me on the cliff road was Peggy. I got a glimpse of her before she fired. She must have loved Al a great deal. No doubt she did. But that'll make me a target for her from now on. My son, I am glad you stick to truth. But now is time to lie. I mean, my son, you must fight fire with fire. It takes a thief to catch a thief. I don't understand you, Red Wolf. You will pretty soon. To capture Butch Weldon, you must be as bad or worse. A crook, liar, cheat, renegade, to your own race, and to the race that has adopted you as a son. I still don't get you. You do, just as I tell you.
Who do you want to see? Tell Butch Wellen we would like to make talk with him. Sit down. So I want to see you, Butch. My friend Big Eagle. How? Found it. Soon he be chief. He no like Red Wolf. Oh. You want to catch him good first? Well, why not? I think we can make proposition. Look at this one. Got more like this? Not yet. Sell them cheap? Sell them plenty cheap. How? Oh. How? Oh. We find them Jack Jennings, dead, and bottom of cliff. We bury him, him son of our tribe. Him Jack Jennings and Red Wolf want me bring this and speak no more. Nothing else, Street Lance? No. Nothing else. Me go. Where'd you get this? He tagged? Yeah, company furs. We catch him. Sell him to company. We take him from warehouse. Sell him to you. Same as Al Pierce. We sell him. Only he double-cross you. Yeah. And Al got his. Him no good. Jack Jennings kill him. Yeah, and Jack got his, too. We know. We find him dead body on bottom of cliff. We bury him. Red Wolf, he say so. Well, well, that's good news. You want to catch him first tomorrow? Sure I do. You come to old cabin, head of pine guard. You bring money, we bring furs. All right, brother. How about daybreak? Hmm. Have a little drink? No, me no warm drink. They want them wampum. Keep plenty wampum. All right. You get the furs and I'll have the money. Don't worry. You come to old cabin. We wait there with furs tomorrow. You bet. Here they come.
Well, what do you think of it? Pretty good. Uh, nothing to brag about, though. These same kind Al get. No, not near as good. How can you tell? Say, I still got the whole batch just the way Al left. You get them after Jennings killed Al? Sure I did. And everyone has a company tag. These same? Only we take off tags. No, they're not as good. How much do you want for them? $500. This our prize beaver. Very cheap. No, don't be foolish. Say, I didn't pay Al that much for that last batch. We make bargain. We sell fur to you. If they good... You pay me. If they're not good as Al, we sell to you cheap. All right, my boy. I'll take a chance. He get him out of the Young bear. No, not me. Big Eagle. He in there. Ah. Me wait till he comes. Say, Clark. Clark. Jack's horse is here. Butch cornered. Come to the old cabin, head of Pine Gulch. Jack. Come, boys. We ride. Sit down. All right, Butch. I'll dictate your confession. You write it and sign it. What do you mean, confession? That you killed Al Pierce. And the pelt that you have at your place will testify to the fact. Trying to frame me, huh? You framed yourself, Butch. Go ahead and write what I tell you. Someone come. Young bear, take Jack's gun. 
Go watch back. Now, put up hands. Oh, you, Jack, you. My put up hands. This man in trouble. I'll let him escape. Change clothes with him. Why, change you? clothes. Much obliged, Chief. I'll remember this. What? Red Wolf was pretty smart. He saw Peggy come gunning for Jack. I shot Al Pierce. You got the right man, Peggy. Ah, could I interest you in buying a fine pair of binoculars? Yes, sir. Latest importation from Paris. Cost me ten dollars, but I'll let you have them for seven dollars cash as a favor. Wonderful thing love is. 